Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos. In our next, in our last video, I talked about uh, creating a basic app in Eclipse, an Android app, and then deploying it to our virtual device. So I've got it there. I can tap it and, and it runs. So what I want to do now is make changes to our application. I don't want it to say hello world anymore. So let's change that. If we go back to Eclipse, we'll make a change to this hello world. You might think, well, I'll just click on it and type what I want. That doesn't it doesn't quite work that way because a um, an Android application is a complicated thing. Notice on our package explorer we have all of these pieces. Again, ignore that I've got my apps there, but we've got pieces. This little bit of text appears inside of a string, basically a variable or a container. In computer programming, a variable is a container that can hold something. In the real world, we've got a container like a cup, and this cup can hold water or orange juice or, or anything, and then we can dump out the water and put coffee. The container can hold just about anything. In our case, we've got a container that holds the text, Hello World. We want to change the contents of that container to make it say something else. So we need to find where that is at. Um, we don't get much help from the interface where to find it, but I can tell you that inside of the res folder, R-E-S, resources, inside of the res folder, you'll find a variety of folders and one of them in there is called values open values and there you'll see something that says strings.xml double click strings.xml it brings up our android resources file of strings.xml and we've got three items app name action settings hello world if you click hello world on the right side it says value hello world that's the text that's appearing on our on our main activity on our first screen so we can change the value but be very careful here do not change what's under the name box this always happens to beginners you you change both or name instead of value and then the whole program breaks so you don't want to change the value under name because that's basically like changing the container. Next, I don't have a coffee mug anymore. Now I have a vase. So I don't want to change that. I want to change what's inside the coffee mug. That's what's value. That's what value is. That's what we want to change. Well, I'm going to put my name here. So what's inside the variable has been changed inside the container and then I can also see at the bottom we've got resources which is our graphical layout and strings which is our code layout and we can see here under the under the strings code we've got the string name hello world which we did not change but then we've got the value between those angle brackets that's what we changed Notice we get a little red highlight. This changed. So if you don't want to look at some scary code, you can stay under the resources. I've changed the value, not the name. And now Eclipse is letting me know that this file has changed. Notice we've got a little asterisk on the top there. So go up to File, Save. Or you can click the little Save Disk. Now that I've made changes, I want to see the results in my virtual device. So last video I showed you to go to run configurations to create a configuration. We've already got a configuration, so this time instead, right below run, we've got a green uh, icon with a white arrow, and next to it is a little black arrow. Click the black arrow, and this will list your run configuration. I've got more than one because this is my own Eclipse uh, installation where I make my own apps. But you should see one, My Amazing App Run Config. Click on it. It'll pop up like we saw last time, Android Device Chooser. 
we should have our currently running Android device that we can select and then we'll click OK. Before that, if you are going to be using the same virtual device over and over, maybe you want to turn on Use Same Device for Future Launches. I'll turn it on next time. Click OK. On the bottom right, you will see activity happening, and then your virtual device might flash. And if you go back to the virtual device, now you've got your name. So this is what our process will be like. We'll make changes to our code, we'll save our code, we'll run, we'll launch a configuration, and then we'll see our, our result in either a virtual device or a real device. So come back on our next video and I'll show you even more of what we can do with Eclipse.